On a recent morning, the sun struggled to break through a blanket of air pollution enveloping central Bangkok. It was so bad that the Thai capital gained an undesirable achievement for that day, the fifth most polluted city in the world. The city has seen several weeks of extreme air pollution, one local newspaper calling it airpocalypse. Pollution haze this time of year with low wind and little rain is common, but according to one Bangkok City Council member, it's never been this bad. He blames the national government for inadequate long-term pollution policy. And he also says that the city is not doing enough. Bangkok's administration works passively on pollution. There are small measures being done, but there's no eagerness with officials to tackle the bigger problem of air pollution. They are not working on solutions. Greenpeace says that the air quality here in Bangkok is at a crisis level, and there's one critical area where the government has failed, and that needs to be corrected immediately. The environmental group says levels of very small particulate matter, known as PM2.5, have not been included in Thailand's air quality index. Readings of these dangerous small dust particles are included in most of the world's indexes. They're harmful to people's respiratory system and can lead to stroke, heart, and lung disease. Greenpeace says the government could be putting the public in danger by not giving them the entire picture. They don't want to, they don't want to panic the, the public. Even Prime Minister has to realize that this is the, the urgent matter that uh, need to need to take into account in terms of uh, warning system, in terms of upgrading air quality index. The head of the government's pollution control effort says they will eventually include the fine particulate readings, but they don't have enough equipment. I have to say that we were not negligent. It is in our plan to include PM2.5, but it depends on when we are ready to include them into air quality index. Not every type of wind has problem with particles. The government has even tried seeding clouds for rain, hoping to rinse away the pollutants. So far, it hasn't worked. In the meantime, the people of Bangkok will need to prepare for more polluted days ahead and hope that the government's plans and the weather will bring cleaner skies. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.